Barnes&Noble.com or at Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Good evening. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. As part of our 31 Days of Oscars celebration this month, we're giving you the opportunity to see the films nominated in a given category in a specific year so you can compare them for yourself. Tonight we're featuring the Best Actor nominees of 1955. And up first we have a game-changing performance from James Dean. From 1955, it's East of Eden. Dean was just 23 years old and largely unknown when director Elia Kazan picked him to star in this family drama based on a John Steinbeck novel. The book is a parable of the biblical tale of Cain and Abel, but set in 1917 California. The brothers in Steinbeck's story are Cal and Aaron. Dean plays Cal, the troubled and reckless son of a man who just can't understand him. Given what we know of Dean's legacy, it's not surprising he would be perfect to play a troubled teenager. East of Eden and the film Dean made right after it, Rebel Without a Cause, are precisely why we think of Dean as we do. His performances represented a new and exciting way to act in film, techniques he honed while studying at New York's prestigious Actors Studio. Kazan originally considered casting another Actors Studio alum, Montgomery Clift, to play Cal, but Clift was already in his 30s, a bit too old to play a brooding teenager, so instead Dean got his first leading role and earned a Best Actor nomination for his work. Tragically, the nomination came after Dean's death in a car accident. It was the Academy's first posthumous acting nomination. The film also earned nominations for Best Director, Best Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actress for Joe Van Fleet, who won the Oscar. Also starring Raymond Massey, Julie Harris, and Richard Davalos from 1955, here's James Dean in East of Eden. <laughs> 